If you take this test, you will turn into a monster. Hello there, internet dwellers. My name is Baz and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are reacting to tape 12 of Greylock. This is a new installment by Greylock. And I've already said this in the past, but this is my favorite analog horror to date. This is, it just has all the tropes of horror that you could ask for, all bundled into one horror-filled joy. It's, it's amazing. And this episode is no different. It really plays with the kind of tension buildup and just different different like you'll see towards the end it gets absolutely insane now there is a whole ass backstory to this if you haven't watched any of the tapes before this one i highly suggest you go watch them for yourself i could try and explain it every single time a new installment is pops up but it will take me a long time to do even i get confused sometimes with the details of the lore but you know i remember little key moments that kind of helped me through and if I do get stuck, I try go back to old videos just to try and make sense of what I'm hearing, if it will make any more sense watching those back. And it does usually. But you guys should go check out Greylock for yourself. This is a fantastic series. I couldn't recommend it anymore if I tried. And I, but I'm still going to try. They will be linked in the description down below. So go show them love. Go watch the series in your own time. Go watch the videos. Discover the lore for yourself if you haven't already. And without further ado, guys, we're going to jump straight into this. So this is tape 12, Waking Your Subconscious Greylock Analog Horror, and the description says this, you are now prepared to see new shadows in your home. Let's find out what that means. Here we go. It's 33 minutes this one. I think this is the longest one so far. So let's uh, let's get comfy, shall we? This video cassette is intended for the sole use of name Charlotte Jean Malgren, I think that said. Subject ID CM22360. So if I remember correctly, in the last video, at the end of the last video, there was a message. No, not the last video, the video before, because I think the last video was some kind of uh, like prison cell. I guess they were putting like maybe a thought form in there or they were planning on locking something in there. To be honest, I completely forgot. I do need a complete recap of the series because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving parts. But the one before there, there was a guy I believe called Jim Malgren uh, or he was, uh, I think it's Mr. Malgren at the very end. I think he's a detective or he's some kind of guy investigating into um, Greylock. So it'll be interesting to see if this person is related. I'm guessing they are. Uh, we're not operators intended. Okay. Property of U.S. Department of the Army. Participation in this part of the what? Wait, what does that say? Participation in this part of the TF system may result in the viewer achieving a heightened sensory state. This can cause the viewer to experience unexpected visual and auditory occurrences, which have no discernible source. These occurrences may include, but are not limited to, transient moving shapes. Okay, that goes quick. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it and just here we go. Transient moving shapes, unsettling shadow formations, vocal phenomena such as whispering, unidentifiable music that sounds distant or muffled, a feeling of a separate presence even while alone. Ooh, okay. For a more comprehensive list and additional information, see the health and safety section of your handbook. Interesting. Okay. You will need the following equipment for this tape. TF system neurovisor headset, workbook, and writing utensil. Oh, so you keep this bit up for longer. <laughs> Welcome to Waking Your Subconscious. Copyright 1993, Simeodyne, USA. And welcome to the second video program in the preconditional protocols and orientation video system for Unit 13, TF2. There's going to be a lot of people who think that this will be real and it will actually have some kind of, um, what's the word, placebo effect Waking on them. Your subconscious. This video cassette has been specially designed to utilize powerful psychological exercises. Sorry to pause it, guys, but this guy sounds like Colonel at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2. Along with cutting edge technology and your own brain's neuroplasticity to allow Unit 13 to access the deepest energy potential of your incredible mind. Interesting, this will okay. Be required to increase the likelihood of prime form cognogenesis. Before we begin, let's go over the required checklist to be sure you have everything in order so that we won't end up with any negative or unexpected outcomes from this program. First okay. on the checklist, ensure that you are alone and will not be disturbed yep, for the check. entire duration of this program. Check. It's critical that you do not become distracted as working with the brain in such a way is a very delicate process. Yeah. Second. 
turn off all light sources except for your television or monitor that you are using for this program. I can't do that, this but still. tremendously in your brain's ability to focus, but it also can make you feel vulnerable or frightened, which are beneficial to this program achieving the desired result. Wait, it's, wait, wait, wait. You, they, you want them to be frightened? Also, Ideally, you would wait until nightfall to complete this part of So you, they're telling you to do this in the dark after, obviously in the dark, after sundown, because they're trying to invoke fear in you? Program. Third, ensure that your volume is turned up to a level where no outside or ambient noise is able to leak through That's checked. Headset. There's only one this that I haven't checked so far. With focus, but it also aids in those feelings of fear and vulnerability, which are where our deepest and most complex solves are rooted. Fourth, have your workbook open to the TF2 okay. section and have your writing utensil nearby, as okay. some exercises will require you to write. However, if for any reason you do not have your workbook, simply grab Let's a regular go. notebook or some sheets of paper and write your name and TF2 at the top of each sheet you use. You will need to hand those into your program liaison. Okay, name at the top. Here we go, baby. Data from there. Once all of these conditions have been met, you're ready to continue to the next part. Now is okay. the time to make sure that your neurovisor headset is correctly. I don't have the neuro. If you never mind, I don't have the visor. Or are looking for more information regarding the neurovisor, be sure to check the section titled Equipment and Connection in your Unit 13 program. I don't have it, so this we're gonna have to deal without. Opportunity to pause playback for the rest of this tape. Okay. Pausing after this point will cause a disruption. Which yep. Could the night you will fucking scald or up the data. Wait, it can do what? Headset. Your screen is about to gradually turn red. Once okay. it is completely red, the program has officially begun, and the point of no return has been crossed. You have 10 seconds. Oof, okay. Hang on, let me get into this. Here we go. Let's focus, laser focus now. There's loads of things I miss because I'm not focused. So you know what? It's good that this reminded me to stay focused. F for nefarious reasons, but you know what? It's all good. Induction. Unlocking the gateway to the deeper corridors of your psyche. Interesting. For the sensitivity warning, our first section induction contains bright flickering. If you have a photosensitivity disorder, it is best that you do not look at your screen. Close or shield your eyes and just listen. Once the tone in your oh, that's nice. changes, it will be safe to look at your screen again. Okay, so it's nice that even though they're trying to invoke something inside you and potentially access areas of your mind that will do some form of damage to either yourself or to the exterior world, that they give you a photosensitivity warning. Induction that's good. That's nice of them. Seconds. Okay. How bad is it? So there's your warning, guys. That's an actual warning for you. Beginning induction. Please okay. stare at your screen for 30 seconds. I do like these. I'm gonna sorry I paused it. I know that I'm distracted already. That's it. It's not gonna work on me. But I like 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 these kind of videos that entice the viewer as if they're they're the ones kind of taking part in this and as if they're actually doing an exercise. I, I like that. It it makes it a lot more immersive. Oh my Jesus Christ. Kill John Lennon! Oh my god, this is crazy. They weren't lying. Oh my god. I think this might actually do some... Imagine this is like some subliminal programming to be like, go buy Coca-Cola. Go buy Coca-Cola. Go buy Coca-Cola. See me doing that. Whoa. Induction complete. Jesus Christ. Whoa, where am I? Hello? What's going on? Who am I? Hello? <laughs> Section 2, priming. Prepare your mind for enhanced neuroplastic realignment. That sounds terrifying. What is this, by the way? That looks like something. That looks like a, a person with, like, Freddy Krueger hands. This exercise will present you with five separate sets of words. Each set will contain six words. For okay. each set, you will have 10 seconds to choose the one word out of the six that you feel doesn't fit with the others. Okay. Write it down I'll, I'll say these out loud, guys. Labeled piece of paper. By the way, guys, you know what? Guys, go watch this on your own, okay? So you can have your own unique experience with this, okay? Then you can come back and see what I do, okay? Unless you've already done that and you're just wanting to watch what I do. But I always encourage people, go check the original source 
uh, go show them support because Greylock by far is my favorite analog horror that I've ever seen, without a, without a doubt. If you do not have your workbook, simply write the numbers one through five vertically on your paper and place your answers beside each corresponding number. Now, okay. okay, you're about to be shown five sets of words. Each set is made up of six words. Okay, for each set, you will have 10 seconds to choose and write down the one word out of the six that you feel doesn't fit with the others. You know what? Let me actually do this. Let me grab this notebook here and let's see what happens. Wouldn't surprise me if freaking Rob um, searched him some, I don't know, mentalist Darren Brown stuff and is uh, actually play toying with us right now, psychologically. In a non, in a non, look, see, there's something there. Is this the, um, that freaking creature that was let loose from Mount Greylock? Set one. Chair, table, couch, rope, bed, mirror. Uh, rope? Rope. Let's say rope. Let's put that down. Brain, heart, blood, lung, liver, kidney. Okay, it would be blood because all the rest are like, yeah, okay, so blood. The rest are organs. Blood isn't really... Yeah, it's in the body, but it's not like the others. Okay, give me... Go back. What did that just say? How dare you? All you cherish will be remade. Who is this? Who is this? Local Samaritan opens her hat and home to stray dogs. So this is the woman that we just saw. What's her name? Charlotte Melgren. Hang on a sec. What was it? Was it, was it Charlotte Melgren? It is. It's Charlotte Malgren. Interesting. Okay, I don't think there's anything really to go off here, but I think the, the title is basically all you need to know. Charlotte Malgren launches Forever Friends Shelter and Adoption Center. Okay, that, that's cool. So the person who's undergoing this test right now is the person that this news article is talking about and the person that we see here. Very good. Okay. Terrified screaming, running, followed, hiding, visible. Terrified screaming, running, followed, hiding, visible. What would be the, the, the terrified, screaming, running, followed, hiding? I think visible is probably the one that's the weird one there. Is this part of the test? Love contorts her flesh and bone. Mutilated, disfigured, mangled, butchered, dismembered, improved. Well, it's definitely disfigured. No, improved. Okay. Rope, blood, visible, improved. Okay, morph, transform, you, what? You need to stop doing this. What's going, where is your precious daughter, Jim? Oh God, this guy is taunting Jim. Missing, Charlotte Malgren. Damn, she went missing. Morph, transform, you take, turn, change, you. It'll be you, right? It'd be cool if these words made a sentence, but I don't I'm know if it complete. will. What was that? Go back. Oh, okay. They're inside. I think that's inside uh, the, uh, recovered footage. Greylock Project Tunnel Exploration. Paul Morelli. So Paul Morelli was the guy who was working on the mountain, right? In the mountain. And shit went wrong, basically. Loads of, like, they, they, they realized a passage had opened that I don't think Paul had sanctioned or ha had the go-ahead. And then all of a sudden... All of his like people working on this mountain and building the tunnel, they started like going insane. The sandwiches and the food that they had in there was rotting. They found all these like artifacts from old, uh, you know, different kinds of religions and cultures and parts of the world as some kind of offerings to whatever lived in this mountain, basically. Code, okay, unauthorized alterations detected. This device has detected unauthorized alterations to the program content of this tape. Please stop playback immediately and return this cassette to your program liaison. Failure to adhere to this warning may result in undesired consequences and could compromise your psychological well-being. Your compliance is mandatory. Conditioning. That thing is getting closer. Testing the way you perceive and respond to certain stimuli. Okay. This next section is a specialized variation of the Stroop test, which will measure multiple facets of your reaction to congruent and incongruent stimuli, while also examining how you deal with high stress, 
high anxiety situations. Okay. You shown a series of faces with emotional expressions. Okay. And a word for each emotion written on each face. The word could match the expression, like okay. the word happy on a smiling face, or they might not match, like the word angry appearing on a sad face. Okay. So what, what's it conditioning my mind to do? We're about to begin the first testing phase of this section. This will be the easiest phase, with each subsequent phase becoming more and more difficult. Okay. Look directly at your screen and state your responses out loud. Sure phase thing. one testing begins in five seconds. Uh, please state the word written on each face and disregard the expression. So the word written on the face, neutral, happy, sad, angry, scared, neutral. Okay. Please state the words written on each face and disregard the expression. Jesus. Okay. Sad, happy, neutral, scared, happy scared okay please state the, the expression yeah okay i need to stop reading that out loud is our thing getting closer scared angry sad happy neutral angry what the hell was that please state the expression shown on each face and disagree yep ryan well i'm doing it to myself i'm the angry scared neutral happy Scared, sad, happy, angry, neutral, scared, 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 scared. Changed. Well, that's not normal, is it? Date, 23rd of August, 1992. Okay, so if I remember correctly, in the one of the last videos, there was a video about this tech company uh, and it had these kind of this kind of interface here, and it was putting cameras in people's homes. Now I, I don't know the reasoning for that. I'm guessing it's to monitor people and so that they can sell more. Of it. Kind of like I guess how your phone does that to you now. It kind of listens to you and you know saves cookies and you know gets to know what your interests are, and it will show you things that you're more likely to buy, right? But I'm thinking that this company probably has a more sinister reason for doing that. Who knows? Much like these companies that make our phones. Who knows? I'm not saying anything. Okay, what am I saying? I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy with wearing a, a cream hat with a shit hairline. What was that? What was that? Was that something there? Oh. There's something here. Hang on. Oh, did you see that? Door one, kennels open. Oh. So this was when Charlotte, is that her name? Goes missing. Charlotte Malgren. Oh, he didn't hurt the dogs, did he? Better not have. Security monitoring. To manage this alert, re-enter your credentials. T. Erickson. T. Erickson. I haven't. I don't think that name's come up yet. Are you sure you want to call the property owner? Malgr Charlotte Malgren. Okay. This is so cool. I don't think she's answering. That monster's gone through. I've still got this pen in my hand, sorry. I feel like a psychiatrist. Pick up the team said. Here we go. Hello. Uh, yes, hello. This is Troy with Evervigil Security. Am I speaking with Charlotte Melgren? Uh, 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 yeah, yes. What happened this time? Uh, Miss Melgren, we've detected some unusual activity at Forever Friends Kennels. Our system alerted us that kennel door one was open and enclosed unexpectedly, followed by a power outage. Is it correct that the primary residence is the first unit at Forever Friends? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So she lives there. But, okay, so I'm not the one who got the security system. It was my dad. So I don't know if there's some way to fix this or whatever, but you guys have called me in the middle of the night like 
five times in the past couple Oh, this is very interesting. Hang on. Fix this or whatever, but you guys have caught the security system. It was my dad. So I don't know if there's... Okay, so what? The, why was it put into her name, though? This is probably why Jim feels bad, right, Mr. Malgren? This is why he's uh, going into it, because his daughter, I'm guessing, was targeted for something that should have been him. So there's some kind of connection between this whole interface, like the, the, the technology that goes into, you know, monitoring this, and Greylock and the creature within Greylock and the thought forms and stuff. Some way to fix this or whatever, but you guys have called me in the middle of the night like five times in the past couple of weeks, and it's all turned out to be false alarms every time. I, I'm so sorry about that, ma'am. I, I, I... But then, again, yeah, he's just doing his job. Yeah, Come on, he's trying to keep you safe. If you like, uh, but first, I need to be sure that you're in a safe situation. Are you currently alone? Yeah, it's just me. But I'm looking out the window right now, and everything seems fine. I mean, the power's out, but it literally goes out all the time over there, so I'm just going to go flip the breaker. Uh, okay. Ms. Morgan, we strongly advise against going outside or into the kennels, especially with the power outage. We can call out a police officer dispatch, and they can make wait, sure it's wait, wait, safe wait, wait, before wait, you... Wait, hold on. Is, is okay. there any way we don't have to do that? I have to be up at six, and the last time it took them over an hour to get here for nothing. Please, ma'am. Like yeah. I, I can understand that frustration if it's happened multiple times. times. And plus, the dogs aren't even barking. If someone was in there, they'd be going crazy by now. Ma'am, I could get in a lot of trouble if anything happened, and I didn't call anyone. It's company policy. How about this? I'll keep you on the phone while I go. Okay. I'll switch to my cordless and everything. If anything happens at all. Oh you God! Miss Milgren, this doesn't sound good. My flashlight. Now, like what you meant to do is the operator in this in this situation. You know, you're just trying to do your job, and she's directly going against what is appropriate. But then again, she's her own person; she can do what she wants. So, is it really the operator's fault? He is doing his job here. He's trying his best to, you know, keep to the script and keep her safe while something gets, someone else goes check it out. I just, I, I have a lot going on tomorrow, and I really just want to get back to sleep. I, uh, well, uh, just uh, let me at least check tonight's footage to make sure everything looks okay mm. first, all right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Go for it. Okay. Okay, so this is from his perspective. Of course. Maybe you should change that uh, playback error. Door alarm. Playback error. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh, um, okay, I'm getting an error. It's not letting me review it. Well, I, I can just head over really quick. Like, real quick. Well, there's no motion alert in tonight's vlog, so... Okay, just please be quick and safe. Thank you. Seriously, I'm gonna go throw some clothes on and, um, you know, grab the cordless, okay? Yeah, all right. I'll look into the false alarms you mentioned and see if I can figure out what's going on. Actually, starts getting creepy. Oh, you got no clothes on. Uh. <laughs> I sleep in uh, my coat, guys. Oh, okay, interesting. So he's checking out the. Okay. Oh, he's checking out the previous uh, times it went off. So this has been happening since when? Eight, nine, since the 9th of August. File corrupted. Okay, on the cordless. It's, it's going to be now, watch. he Once she's on the phone and going over there, that project, that little file Flash is going to work now. Still there? Um, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, oh, you see that on the roof? Right Ooh. The panel, so just hang on another sec. Let's look on the roof. Okay. Hey! What the f... What is that? It's XQC. What the hell? Why didn't he check this bef before? God, that thing is tall, isn't it? Playback error. Oh god, she's gonna die. Okay, I'm she's gonna go missing. And yep, the power is definitely out. It is. 
oh, this is creepy because you know something's going on and she doesn't know this and he's not telling her what you're seeing. So it's like you're waiting. You're waiting for that moment. Okay, I'm just going to go check on the dogs real quick on my way to the basement. But How to Build Suspense 101. Watch this series, guys. Trust me. It's that Especially the, the, the video... Not the last video, the one before that. The whole conversation between the doctor and young Tiffany, I think her name was. That was amazing. If you haven't watched this series already, oh my god, it's brilliant. Seems fine. I'm, I'm really not sure this is a good idea, Ms. Mogren. Listen, something's wrong with the recording that I'm seeing of your home. What do you, what do you mean, wrong? Honestly, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking at here. It seems like the camera's glitched out or something, but the previous calls you've been getting, they, they weren't false alarms. Yeah, again, I'm not sure what's going on here, but... Uh, something's been stalking around your property for a while now. I, I'm not sure how the previous people who called you didn't notice. Yeah. Okay. There's something fishy going on there. What? An animal or? No. No. Well, I I don't know actually. I just listen. I I just think you should go back to your house. Okay, please. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You you win. Let me just make sure that the dogs are okay, and I'll head back over. Just... No, don't do that. Just okay. go straight Thank back. You. Straight back. I'm don't go in. Look over Guaranteed, yeah. Okay. Th this is when he's gonna hit door alarm and it's gonna work this time. Um, what's wrong? Um, I don't know. What? You okay, you okay buddy? There's something in there. What's going on? The dogs aren't moving. They're all just standing. Stand, standing. Well, it's late, so maybe they're just. What? I'm both back. The back paws. Or something. Uh, but let's just no, get you back. Not it. They're just standing here, not moving, like at all, like not even their eyes. It, it's like they've been stunned. Like, it, it's like they're fucking dead, oh, but they're fuck. not. What the fuck? What? what? Miss Melgren, you need to get out of there and return to your house it, immediately. I'm sending your information to the police right now. What's going on? This one, my Rashad J. Send all current information in. Okay, okay. Oh, this is so good. They're, they're so good at doing this. What was that? Are you okay? Charlotte. Charlotte, are you okay? You receive. You ripped my flashlight. Charlotte? You ripped my flashlight. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, so from what I'm gathering here. Okay, so this is a video called Trojan Technology, and it was on December 29th, 1994. And this was two years after this video here, right? And it looks like it's the same creature there, look, here. So whatever is in here is here as well. I don't know if this is the creature from Mount Greylock or if this is a thought form that is like was thought up by either the person here or maybe something to do with Charlotte Malgren. All right, but let's just jump in. Oh, our camera stopped recording. Now. Three minutes. I've sent your information to the North Adams PD, okay? They responded that an officer will be there in three minutes. Officers, sorry. listen, you need to try your best to be calm and just listen to me, okay? Can you find your way out? I'm trying. Ugh. That place doesn't look big at all. Nice and quick. Nice and quick. Is this like live footage right now? There's no windows. Oh, door. Hang on a sec. What? The doors and windows have disappeared. Oh my god, this is creepy as hell. There's nothing. Wow. She's literally stuck in there with this thing. This is mad. Oh 
Bro, there's nothing that, there's nothing she can do. Okay, so let me let me think this through. So Charlotte was the test subject for this, and she what willingly did this thing. Okay, okay, I'm out. I'm out. Now the door's locked. Okay, very good. Charlie. Oh, the door's back. Okay. okay. I need you to tell me what room you're in so I can inform the officer. Are you able to see now, even just a little? Yeah, I can't. I can't see anything. Don't. Damn. Okay. Nothing, nothing is making sense. I have no clue where I am. It's turned into Skinnamarink. I can't tell if it's really this dark or if, if I'm blind. Breathe, Charlotte. Breathe. You need to try and stay as calm as you possibly can. Look, if it's that dark, whatever's in there probably can't see you either, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's Hopefully. important that we stay very quiet until the police arrive. Very quiet. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Stay right where you are keep your back Jeez. against the wall all right the officer's just down the road right now you're gonna be okay now now listen i'm gonna stop talking so we can be completely quiet but no i'm still safe here. he can I'm probably not going anywhere until you're safe thank you thank you I'm sorry. he tried warning you not to go I'm sorry i should have listened to you it's, it's all okay we're gonna get you out of there now, no more talking. Oof. Oh my god. What is happening? Is that the, is that the thing sniffing? It's going to be really loud. Wait for it. It's going to be a blood curdling scream. And then it's going to cut off. I think my skin is moving. Oh, that is. She just got freaking dragged into the underworld, I think. Test. Whoa, hang on a second. You can't just be doing that. Let me go back to the start and see if there's a date on this. There's not a date on this. This test is made up of five statements. Okay. You will check true or false beside the corresponding number for each statement in your workbook. If okay. you do not have your workbook, simply write one through five vertically on a piece of paper and write T or F beside each number. Okay, you let's do it again. Here we go. To respond to each statement. Okay. Your test begins now. Statement number one. This video system is physically changing your brain. Um, it's a false. That guy is getting close. It's not physically changing, is it? What is true? Damn it. This video system leverages the principles of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections. Jeez. Through these specific audiovisual stimuli and cognitive exercises, it's influencing specific neural pathways in your brain, thereby physically altering the structure and function of your brain in response to this experience. Jeez. Statement number two. Only a very small percentage of people will never betray their moral values, no matter the situation. Only a small percentage of people will never betray. That's false, I think. Yeah. I think anyone can kind of be pushed. Under the right circumstances, yeah. such as intense peer pressure, survival situations, or psychological manipulation, it's proven that anyone can be made to betray even the strongest attachments to moral values. What are they trying Statement to teach number here? Three, through your conscious mind, you make your own decisions. Through your conscious mind? Y y no, that's false. Because you can be... Um, you can be manipulated to think a certain way. Listen, I've been watching a lot of Darren Brown recently, and he, like, 
it just goes to show like he he will already know the number that he wants to put into your head and all he has to do is speak something or suggest something in a certain way without being too obvious and he will they will always say what he wants them to say a large portion of human decision making occurs at an and i guess it is unconscious, unconscious yeah conscious level the conscious mind rationalizes these decisions after the fact making the person believe they made a deliberate choice mm -hmm. choice is an illusion statement number 4 we all yeah. have our moral thoughts and desires, but it's critical to focus our energy on the positive aspects of ourselves. True. So we can be better people. True. This, if this is false, then this is obviously trying to corrupt. And if that wasn't made obvious already, now it is obvious. Th this program is <coughs> literally designed to corrupt the mind. The darkest aspects of your mind are part of a larger psychological entity that resides deep within your unconscious. This shadow entity cannot be reasoned with. It cannot be ignored. You cannot subdue it, lock it away, or eliminate it. Okay. Even attempting any such thing has the opposite effect, only making it stronger, darker, and more dangerous. Jeez, okay. Statement number five. Opening the door to your shadow psyche and embracing your darkest urges as a part of yourself is the only way to live a fulfilling life. Jesus Christ. So the shadow was um, a, a, a term that was coined by um, Carl Jung, I believe it was. They were the one that coined the term the shadow self, which I'm, I'm not sure if it refer, re refers to like this side of you that, you know, is has these dark desires and stuff. Now, I'm going to say that's false. I don't want that to be true. Okay. Yep, they are really, really messing you up with this. That is for sure. Open the black door. All right, interesting. I think in the last video, the one before this one, once again, that when Tiffany was do the, uh, going to her psychologist, her doctor, he put her into like a trance state, a hypnotic state, and kind of walked her through this thing. And I think he told her to open up a door. And that's when she realized or she said out loud that there's someone in there. And I'm guessing that they inadvertently kind of released something by doing that. Activation, establishing the subliminal bridge. What you are about to experience has been carefully constructed in combination with previous exercises to create a connection point between your conscious and unconscious mind. Mm -hmm. This is our final section of this tape. Please oh watch and listen very closely. Do not look away or shield okay. your eyes for any Sorry, reason. I need to go into full screen mode. Please remember, your fear and vulnerability are essential components to this process. Activation of the subliminal bridge will begin in five seconds. Oh, good lord. Whoa, what was that? Let's go back. Jesus. Okay, I think that was like from one of the pictures in... um of the the workers that went crazy oh god not this again Freak. jeez what's happening this better not be actually doing something to my brain right now Jeez, my... It's giving me a headache. Or an eye ache. Oh, there's a face there. Ugh. What is happening? What is this doing? Oh, who the hell is this guy? Uh. Is this the news reporter? Oh, this is creepy as hell. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wow. 
I'm, I'm thinking that once this is over, that thing is going to be super close now. And what that, whatever that thing was, is going to, what, possess the person now? So let me, I'm, I'm going to take a guess and say that the creature that went in is capturing people and then taking them to this place to do tests on them, to maybe turn them into something. God, I don't like this. Okay, uh, uh, are they in the shower? Is the person in the shower recording this? Oh, I don't like it. I don't. Oh, this is making me feel all freaking nervous. Jesus. It's not going to go back to that shot, is it? Okay. Man, is it like one of those um, visualizers when you played music? Back um, in the old Windows days. What is this training my brain to do right now? I swear to God, if I have weird ass dreams because of this, you know, I'll probably make it a lot more interesting to be fair. I do have weird dreams already, so. That's Earth, okay. Now we're seeing some kind of psychedelic, like we're on DMT or something. Okay, that was the like the galaxy. Are we going to associate red with something after this? Every time we see red, we're going to feel a certain way. Are these jellyfish? What's happening? Oh my god. This is some MK Ultra stuff right here. We are being brainwashed. Rob me uh, messaged me on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, um, saying he was looking forward to me reacting to this one specifically. I want to know why that is, because I I am feel like I'm being brainwashed. This is mad. This is crazy. You guys still with me? Oh, I'm getting I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, okay. There's Greylock. No, I mean the mount, like the tunnel. I'm guessing, but it's like spawning them back. What's happening? Activation complete. Unit's clear. No sign of the smell ring. What? No sign of Miss. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we're seeing the basement. Oh God. So this is the police officer that was responding to the incident. North Adams Police. Anybody down here? Jesus, it's dark in here. Yeah, no shit. Oh, is it still there? I 
don't know. It probably shit itself, to be fair. There's something under there? What is that? Is it a dead body? No, it's not. She went missing, right? Or maybe did she? She did go missing because there's posters up. an amalgamation of parts. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? I was like, I don't know if the dogs were eating her or if the dogs combined with her to create well, this freaking leading the TF2 waking your subconscious video cassette. Please Oh so god. Your brain to rest for at least 12 hours. 12 hours. Continuing this video system. Once you have rested and you are ready, enter the cassette labeled TF3, the shadow, communion and assimilation. This is the end of this tape. I am confused about this because was was this done before she went missing or after? This video cassette is intended for the sole use of Charlotte Jean Malgren. Now is this are they being kidnapped? And, okay, I, I have a feeling that whatever happened to Charlotte, she was kidnapped and turned into something there. And now they're going to force her, like, tie her down to uh, watch this thing and turn her into this evil being. Oh my god, that was insane. That last part really caught me off guard. Jeez, this was really, really well done. Like I said, there's a lot of moving parts here. There's a lot of names mentioned, but they all go together they all kind of stick together so if you can like put the pieces together then there's a coherent story here that is really really good and it's building up to be something fierce so keep up the good work man this was phenomenal this is really like i said it's my favorite analog horror by far and i really enjoy whenever there's a new entry into something like this or into, into greylock itself if you guys enjoyed go check out greylock for yourself go check out all the videos honestly you will not be disappointed they are fantastic go like subscribe show all your support and if you enjoyed my reaction to this content why not leave a like rating subscribe i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video take care guys